Hello everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome to a book review for The Ranger's Apprentice Book 1, The Ruins of Gorlon. Now we start off in this book, we start off at Castle Redmont. And this is in the country of Arulan or Arulan, however you want to pronounce it. So we have Will, Alice, George, Jenny, and Horace. Now they start off as wards of the castle, which means that they live at the castle, their parents aren't around, or they don't have parents, so they've come to kind of be orphaned by the castle. And it comes to choosing day. Now choosing day for the wards of the castle is when they choose where they want to go, um, what they want to do with the rest of their life. First off, we start with Horace. He's more of the, I don't want to call him bulky, but he's the bigger kid. He's kind of a bully to Will. He, he wants to be a, a warrior or a knight. And so he, he's got that attitude of he thinks he's better than Will. And, and Will also wants to be in the Warrior Knight because that's what he has come up with this story about that's what his father did. He's always talked about that. That's how he gets through things. So then we have Alyss who she wants to be the diplomatic one. She wants to, you know, go and, and do diplomatic things. We also have George who wants to be a scribe. He's got like great writing, but a lot of people find him more on the annoying side. And then we have Jenny. Jenny wants to be the chef. She loves food. She likes to cook. So that's what she wants to go into. Now, when choosing day comes along, Will obviously wants to be a warrior knight, and he is told that he can't. He's told that they don't think it suits him, and that's where we find Halt. Halt is probably my favorite character of the book series so far. He is amazing. Uh, he He's like the quiet, cloaked type. Obviously, he's a ranger. So rangers wear these cloaks. They're, they're very mysterious. A lot of people are afraid of them because they think that they have these mystical, magical powers. So, a lot of people stay away from the rangers. Well, Halt wants Will to be his apprentice because he, he's knows that Will can climb, knows that he's, he's, got, he's got what it takes to be a ranger. So when Will agrees, he goes to live with Halt, and they go through the trainings of being a ranger. So for the bad guy for this book, the first book, we have Lord Morgoroth. Now he is, he used to be a baron of a fife, and he is an expert swordsman, and he is rebelling against the king of the land. So he comes in and he wants to take over, you know, the kingdom. The Wargles are kind of like a beast creature. They don't really have their own their own mind. They're, that's why they're called the unminded ones. They they are very easy to control. They are pretty much controlled mind controlled by Lord Morgoth. And then we have the assassins, which are the Kalkara. The Kalkara are bear like kind of animals, but they do have a weakness. And so Lord Morgrath uses the Wargles and the Kalkara to try to gain power again in the kingdom and try to take over and beat everyone. There are quite a few characters in this first book that you get introduced to. You kind of get introduced to all the advisors in the book. Uh, you also get to meet, you know, the wards and, and rangers. Another one of my favorite characters would be Gillen. Um, he is in charge of his own fife because there's there's tons of fifes and and places in charge of, like the rangers have their own places that they're in charge of and so he has his own place but he is the son of an an expert swordsman uh, who is a knight and so he has some knight skills as well as being a ranger this book is a great book I love it uh, John Flanagan does a great job at writing even though you know, he wrote it for his son. I've enjoyed it. I know Adam has enjoyed it. He actually is the one who got me into the book series. So a thank you to him. But it is definitely, it's got a great storyline. And there's about 11 books in this series. They're great books. I would definitely recommend them to, you know, teenage kids. They would really enjoy it, especially if they're into the fantasy world. They would definitely enjoy this book series. It's got a lot to do with knights and rangers and a lot of mystical creatures and stuff like that. I would definitely recommend it to people who love to read, especially fantasy. 
it's a great book. John Flanagan does an amazing job at writing, even though I will say that Ranger's Apprentice kind of starts off slowly, but that's because you get introduced to the characters, you get introduced to the story. That kind of happens a lot in books where they kind of start off slow, but then they gain momentum. And he does a great job with that. He does a great job at leaving you, you hanging at the hanger at the end of the book. Um, but it's a great book. I would definitely recommend it. I love the ride. I love his writing. He has a way of getting you attached to the characters and you know you you love them or you he makes you really hate them at first and then you might love them at the end he does a really great job with his character development also another character that you just you can't go without in this book is tug which they introduce him as rangers have special horses uh, they're different from the knight's horses. These horses are specially trained for rangers. They know when trouble's coming. They can change their stepping. They're, they're just great for the rangers when they need to be uh, sneaky or, or everything else. But Will's horse happens to be Tug, and Tug is just one of those... He's a very lovable character. You, there's just no way of not loving Tug. He's, he's adorable and... There are some very comedical things that happen in this book that you'll laugh when it happens with Tug. Alright, so that is my book review for The Ranger's Apprentice, book one. Be sure to stay tuned for the other Ranger's Apprentice book reviews. They will definitely be coming up in the future. But I just really want to recommend this for you guys. It's a great book series. I, I definitely mean it, especially if you're into the fantasy, medieval worlds. It's a great book series to pick up. That concludes my review for the Ranger's Apprentice book one, like I said. And be sure to check out the other ones that when they come up. And I'll see you guys later.